Real quick, on a scale of 1 to 10, how ready are you to evacuate? If your house were to be swept away by a flood right now, how long until you and your family will get to safety? If martial law were declared, would you be able to flee to your bug-out retreat? I don't care if you have a five-year stockpile, 1,000 gallons of water, or enough guns for a small army. You cannot fight floods and hurricanes with bullets, and even the strongest house can be destroyed in a heartbeat. If you gave yourself a four or five, or if you yawned and said, oh, I'm just going to bug in when SHTF, then you need to watch this warning video right now. Because in the next six minutes, I'm going to completely shatter the three biggest myths about bugging out, just to prove to you that many of the things you read are garbage, and how applying the wrong information can kill you. I also want to show you how to prepare for an evacuation in one afternoon, whether you live alone or with a large family, whether you're on a farm or in a big city, even if you're old, crippled with arthritis, and even if you're in a wheelchair. And you can do this without a bug-out vehicle or a bug-out location. How? With a solid bug-out plan, and by revealing stealth, escape, and evasion tactics used by the military to survive in the field for months on end. My name is Dan F. Sullivan, Editor-in-Chief of SurvivalSullivan.com, and if you know my website, my forum, and my YouTube channel, then you know I'm religious about warning people of holes in their survival plans. I have my BS detector way up when it comes to survival advice, and today I want to talk to you about the topic of bugging out. What you may not realize is that when SHTF, you've only got two options. You either bug in or bug out. Pick the wrong one, and all those months and years you spent prepping and building a stockpile could be gone in a heartbeat. Yes, hunkering down is more likely, but it's also easier to prep for. That's why people do it. It's comfortable. You buy gear, fortify your home, start a stockpile. It's fun, right? Well, the fun stops when disaster strikes and you realize you have to go. Survival is never easy. It's supposed to be hard. And many don't think about the nasty side of it. Injury and even death are likely, particularly if you've never survived critical situations. Then there will be wild animals, rain, cold, limited food and water, plus the fact that you'll always have to be on the move. All of these problems need to be handled, which means you need to put some thought into your evacuation plan. A bug out bag just won't cut it. You need brains, you need skills, and you need to know survival tactics that are proven to work in the real world. Only then will you confidently smile, knowing that you can take your family to safety no matter what happens. Only then you'll know you'll survive even if you don't have a place to go. Only then you'll sleep better at night knowing everything's taken care of. So let this sink in. Bug out bags are only the beginning. They're just a tiny piece of the puzzle, and they can't help you stay safe unless you know how to use what's inside. There are critical aspects when it comes to survival, and you need to tackle each and every one, including making detailed evacuation plans and a list of dangers I just gave you. There are many more, by the way. But before we get into that, I want to reveal the biggest myths about bugging out, because they're so awful and so widespread I cringe every time I hear them. Myth number one, they say you should only bug out if you have a place to go. Wrong. How about a limo and a chauffeur to take you there? Joking aside, you can and will bug out when the time comes, even if you don't have a bug out location or a bug out vehicle, because any place is safer than a compromised home. You don't really need one because you can sleep inside your car, make your own shelter, or pay for a motel like some people do when they flee hurricanes. Myth number two about bug out locations is that they need to be fortified and filled to the brim with supplies. Sure, that would be nice, but any location that can keep you safe, even for a few hours, is, in fact, a bug-out location. A friend's house, an abandoned building, even a piece of land away from the main road. This is why you should have not one, but as many BOLs as possible. Even if you don't have any supplies there, it's good to know you have a place to park your car until you figure out what to do next. Last but not least, myth number three says that bugging out is only for those who are young and in good health. This is total BS. You're supposed to survive, remember? You want to live. That's the only reason you're preparing. I don't care how old you are, whether or not you can drive. You should always be prepared to evacuate. Survival isn't a hobby. It's a primal instinct. Who doesn't want to live? When the unthinkable happens, are you quietly going to pour yourself some coffee, sit in your favorite armchair, and wait to die? Of course not. You'll run for your life, help your kid, contact your mother, figure out which roads are blocked, and on and on and on. There are lots of things to take care of. If you do this right, then it doesn't matter which disaster will hit. You'll always be ready. Every action plan has a high-level overview, then goes down into detail to nail every aspect. 
and that's exactly what I want to do in what follows, and show you how easy it is to bug out. Bug out vehicle? Check. Load it up with supplies, leave some room to throw in last minute valuables, and it could shelter you for months. Bug out routes? Not a problem. Just get to know your town streets a little, mark all the exit routes on your map, and see them in person. Bug out bags? Everyone and their mother knows how to cram stuff into a bag, but there's a right way to do it. You need quality items, intelligently grouped together in modules, quick access to the critical ones, and to waterproof, shockproof, and puncture-proof many of them. These are just the basics and very easy to do, but there's more. Evacuate too soon or too late and you may never get out in one piece. Neglect security and communications and you could end up on the side of the road somewhere, knocked unconscious, with all your supplies stolen. To cover every scenario, you need to be prepared to bug out not just for a few days, but weeks, months, or even forever. Expect to never come home. Expect to live for months on end in the wilderness until you find a more permanent place to stay. That, to me, is being prepared to bug out. When you're capable of making shelter out of what you can find, when you can hunt or fish when the food in your backpack is gone, when you can meet your basic needs for an undetermined amount of time, this may seem advanced, but it's actually very easy. I noticed there is no course out there that goes into much depth about evacuations and planning, so I decided to do it. Not alone, though. I had help from my experts, who are better preppers than me. I wanted to make the best crash course on bugging out anyone ever made, something that everyone from beginner to advanced would swear by. And I did it. We worked our rear ends off to give you the best of the best survival information you will ever read condensed into a single e-course titled How to Bug Out Forever that will show you how to prep to evacuate in minute detail. We'll get you ready to survive for weeks, months, or even years away from home and save you a ton of money by not letting you buy the wrong equipment. Let me prove it to you by giving you a taste of what's inside. How to set up stellar bug out bags, everyday carry kits, and get home bags. I'm using a special technique that organizes everything into easy to access modules. Food, water, shelter, fire, hygiene, clothes, flashlights, nothing is left out. And the best part is, every item can be used for bug-in scenarios. So this is not a waste of money. How to make a bugging out plan that actually works. I don't care if you're prepping alone, if you're a single mom, or if you have a large family. You need a plan. We're taking things one giant leap further and telling you how to set up an inch I'm never coming home bag that will allow you to live in the wilderness forever. You'll be the best prepper in town, period. How to use stealth, military escape, and evasion tactics for when you're on the go, including decoys to trick your enemy, deplete his resources, and distract him long enough for you to bug out. Everything has been made prepper-friendly. How to avoid roadblocks and the hordes of people when SHTF. We made a full list of things that can go wrong in an evacuation and gave common sense advice to each. Do you know the exact moment you should evacuate? Do it just minutes too soon or too late and your journey is over before it begins. We'll show you how to read the warning signs so you can make this decision in a split second. The top five best concealed carry guns. You need something that fits inside your B.O.B., is easy to carry, and uses ammo that is common. How to prepare your car for an evacuation. Whether you want to buy a new one, or if you have to do with your current one, I'll show you not just what supplies to fill it with, but how to make it unstoppable, even in front of bullets. A step-by-step -step walkthrough of what to do when it hits. Plus, the three things you should never do in a bug out. How to find land for your bug out location. Cheap, full of natural resources that will allow you to live without outside help. Plus, how to protect it from looters when you're not there. Last but not least, we're going to tell you which foods to put in your bug out bag that are lightweight and have a long shelf life. Forget canned food, it's too heavy. Forget MREs, they're not fit for human consumption. They're high in sodium and cause constipation. My recommendations are healthy, nutritious, and cheap. Really, this is just a taste of what you're going to get in this fluff-free e-course. You now have everything you could ever need to bug out. Just click the button below to order it and start reading it within minutes. Now, since I wanted to make this more than just an e-book, I also decided to include these bonuses that are 100% free if you order today. Bonus number one is titled How to Prep Under the Radar. Everything must be done in absolute secrecy. None of your neighbors can ever know what you're up to, unless they're preppers too. So I'm going to give you a list of things you can do that won't raise any eyebrows. Bonus number two is titled Dan's Top Recommendations and will tell you exactly what some of the best survival gear is you can find online. No fancy talk, no BS. I'll just give you lists of items that either me or other preppers are stockpiling. 
Bonus number three is simply titled SHTF Water. Water is going to be the biggest bugging out problem because there's only so much you can take with you. Water is too heavy and will slow you down considerably. But since the human body can only survive for about three days without it, this crucial bonus will teach you two things. Number one, how to find water in any scenario, whether you're stuck inside a city or the woods. And number two, how to purify the water into crystal clear, delicious liquid of life that will not only quench your thirst, but will also give you back your energy to continue to bug out. You also need clean, clear water for cooking, as well as medical emergencies, cleaning wounds, cold compresses, and much, much more. Bonus number four is called Simple Self-Defense and was written by Heath Brower, an ex-combatives instructor in the U.S. Army and a martial arts expert in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Krav Maga, and Aikido, who's been doing this since he was seven years old. He'll teach you everything you need to defend yourself in an emergency. Situational awareness, attack prevention, basic self-defense moves you can practice in your living room, and what body parts to hit to cause the most damage. He'll also give you a kick-ass list of everyday items that double as part-time survival weapons. This ebook is as close to joining a self-defense class as it gets. Last but not least, bonus number five is a list of survival checklists that will ensure you don't miss anything while you're prepping. Having blind spots in your survival plans could mean losing your stockpile or your life, so print them off and mark each item one by one as you buy it. The Bug Out Forever course and the five bonuses have literally everything you need to bug out. You're in for a great and easy read, yet you're probably wondering how much it costs. Putting a price on the efforts and the experience of me and my writers was not easy. If I were to do the math, I would say this entire ebook and the bonuses, proofreading, design, video, marketing, and monthly website costs, they're a small fortune. And though I feel the course is worth at least a couple hundred dollars, I can't ask over one hundred dollars for something that will be read by thousands or even dozens of thousands of people. At the same time, I can't put the same measly price tag that those booklets on Amazon have. So I decided to price it in a way that's more than fair, below the fifty dollar mark, at a measly thirty nine dollars. But there's a catch and some good news. The catch is that the website right here is the only place you can buy and download the course. You cannot find How to Bug Out Forever anywhere else and if I decide to shut down the site, the course will go along with it. The good news is you get an ironclad 60-day, no questions asked guarantee. If at any time in the next two months you feel that this isn't for you, simply contact me via email and I'll personally initiate a full refund. I feel this is more than fair, and if I could, I'd shake your hand, because that's all the guarantee I'd need from you that you'll hold on to your end of the deal and put my advice into practice. So click the button below right now, enter your credit card or PayPal details, go through the checkout process, and you'll start reading within minutes. I know you're probably weighing in all the options. Maybe you're thinking about what you would do if you had to bug out right now. I thought about this a lot, too, and you only have three choices. One is to play the odds and focus all your efforts on bugging in. Start a stockpile and hope you'll never have to evacuate and bug in no matter what. But what will you do if your home becomes uninhabitable? Now you're screwed. Your second choice would be to wing it. Make a bug out bag, equip your car, and leave it at that. Whatever happens, happens, right? Wrong. That is not how serious preppers make choices. And I do not want to work with preppers who aren't committed. Anyway, if you don't take evacuation seriously, you risk injuring yourself, you risk losing your kid, your supplies, and you may never reach your destination. Which leaves only one other viable option. Option number three, to put your faith in me. It's the only course on bugging out you'll ever have to read. You don't need anything else. We went through every possible scenario to make sure you're 100% protected when you evacuate, no matter where you are in the U.S. or the world for that matter. So make the right choice now by clicking the button below, entering your details, and then following our master plan. Oh, you're still here. Allow me to answer a few common questions. Question. Is the 60-day guarantee real? It sure is. Folks are sometimes afraid to ask for their money back on info products because of some bad apples in the survival space who like to cling to their money. I'm not like that because I know every negative feedback I get is a chance for me to improve. Though I seriously doubt you'll have any complaints about my product, if you don't feel this is right for you, don't be embarrassed to ask for a refund. Question. I've read a few survival books and ebooks. Can you give me some more info on your course? Sure thing. I could fill pages upon pages of things you're going to find inside the How to Bug Out Forever course. Here are just a few more. We're going to talk about bugging out for women, people with disabilities, pets, and other aspects that most articles on the web don't bother to bring up. 
Megan Stewart is going to give you no less than 25 alternative weapons that will fit in your bug out bag. From projectile and edged weapons to opportunity weapons, you'll have plenty to choose from. Ryan Dotson will teach you how to make different kinds of traps in the woods, pictures included. Jack Woods will tell you how to stay clean with minimal water while you're bugging out. You need to keep germs at bay, otherwise you could not only get sick, but infect your other family members. He's also going to tell you the secret ingredients for sore feet, because no matter what, you need to keep moving. What to do when you reach your bug out location. You need to make sure no one's already there, that all your supplies are in order, and you need to start bugging in. How to protect your bug out location before and after SHTF. You just can't afford to lose thousands of dollars worth of food and gear and leave your family without a roof over their heads. A list of items that will weigh down your B.O.B. Get rid of them and it'll be much easier to carry. And much, much more. Question, do I really have to bug out? Bugging in should be anyone's plan A, but you cannot ignore evacuations. I don't care how well you prep to stay inside should something happen. There's always a chance that your location will get compromised. You cannot leave this to chance. Question, what makes this e-course different? There's one big thing that makes it different. The fact that me and my team worked our you-know-what off to get you the highest quality information possible. I honestly don't think there's a better course on bugging out out there. Question, is the product full of fluff? Absolutely not. I've had my share of survival courses filled with irrelevant stories, personal opinions, and political rants. There will be none of that in How to Bug Out Forever. Question, what if I have questions later on? I'll be right by your side. Write me an email at any time at contact at survivalsullivan.com and I'll hit you back with an email in 48 hours, tops. So there you have it, folks, the single most complete survival course on how to bug out. At your fingertips for a fantastic price. Act fast and click the button below to start your journey. I'm Dan F. Sullivan. Thank you for watching.